Well, the military in general prepared me for life, and I'll tell you, it made me extremely confident in my abilities. Now, give you an example. I'm just wait, just as a thought, I did serve in the reserves as an artillery officer, uh, officer, so I should qualify that. So you're right, you got that right. Um, I'm thinking of my active duty tour, but anyway, um, the military, the way it is for an officer, you're trained. Is this discipline in the military, of course, structure? That's great, but you're trained to lead people and operations and, and, and manage efforts, and you're young. I was 22 years old, I was a platoon leader. They give you training, but then you're just, then they might say, here are additional duties, figure it out. All right, I'm trained to be an infantry officer, but now I'm in charge of the dining facility. What, what do I know about a dining facility? Uh, the, the, the vector control officer, now I'm an exterminator. Uh, and this is all true, by the way. Uh, tax, uh, you know, you name it. Uh, there are all these little additional duties I give you. Nuclear, biological, chemical, you have to really learn that more on your own. So what it does, it did is, it's daunting when you start. But when you realize there are things you do, whether it's in the field, whether it's going to airborne school and jumping out of airplanes, conquering your own fears, um, realizing, wow, I can do these things. And then you're out there and you're managing and you're 22 years old. Now, if you succeed, that means you had something in you to do it, but it's like catapulting you forward. There's no way, there is no way that if I came out and was a sales rep at a college that I would, have I, would have, I would have gained the knowledge experience that I had. I would not trade my military experience for anything in the world. I didn't go to combat. I didn't go to war. Thank God. No one wants to go to war. We trained for it. We prepared for it. Could happen any day. I was in during peacetime. But sometimes that could be, that actually could be better in some ways because you're focused more on administrative and logistics as well because now you have more time to take care of that equipment. You're training in the field and you're in garrison, which means you're in and you're doing training and you're, you're managing and you're directing. Um, so the bottom line is that, that I was able to have extreme confidence that I can go into something I have no knowledge about and make it happen because I learned there are people who know. The President of the United States has a cabinet has 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 people that but they're not they don't they don't have to be an expert. If you're the CEO of a company, you work through that company. You have skills in sales or finance, whatever it may be, but you don't have to be an expert in every facet of it. You have to lead leading and directing and managing and creating is finding what you need, getting people who you need to do it. And I knew that I could do anything. Um, you know, I, was I going to be an engineer directly? No, I'm not an engineer. I was going to be a neurosurgeon. They don't give that to you. But I could find what I need. If I wanted to open up something that required neurosurgery, I would have neurosurgery doing the surgery. See what I mean? Let's say a clinic. So I knew that I was confident I could find my way to be successful. And I could manage and lead and direct without a problem at all. Um, and that's what the, the military is the reason why I'm an entrepreneur, without a doubt.